Welcome back you lovely bunch. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're all doing good. Today we are out exploring some of Devon's lanes. The plan is actually to go up Dartmoor. I'm on the steel road bike. Do you know what? I actually wasn't going to ride this bike all winter. Because it's steel, I didn't want to ride it in the winter. There's a guy on a unicycle. Morning. So yeah, as long as you're out on a bike, it doesn't matter. I was about to talk about like whether you should ride steel or carbon, but clearly when matey's out on a unicycle, it just doesn't matter. As long as it's got wheels, who cares? So I'm out on a nice calf ride. It was meant to be wet, rainy, and horrible this weekend. So I actually did a bit of a brutal session on the turbo yesterday. If I'd have known that it was gonna be this nice, I would not have done that turbo session. So today we're riding with tired legs. I'm gonna stop for a coffee. I've got some nice fresh kit and I'm riding this Bloody beautiful stayer. Do you want to see it? Shall I show you? Look, let me just let me just show off my bike. I'm gonna have to put it drive side inwards because I keep on dropping them and breaking mech hangers. But look, oh, it's absolutely filthy though. In the sunlight, it's just so shiny and oh, 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 oh. it's weird, isn't it? I spent ages wanting a carbon bike. I finally get my first carbon bike, and the next thing you want is a steel frame because steel's like this classic material, right? I don't know the answer to this question, right? Maybe one of you guys can fill me in. Most time people do videos on YouTube and they inform people of things. But for me, I'm gonna ask you guys a question. So why is it modern steel bikes feel as good, if not better, as a carbon bike? Like why, why is that? I used to have like a steel track frame years ago and the thing was absolutely beautiful. It rode like a dream as well. Unlike rim brakes, steel bikes are still really good, you know? Yeah, I've lost my train of thought. The man on the unicycle totally threw me. At first I thought it was a penny farthing, but it wasn't a penny farthing, it was a unicycle. Anyway, we're gonna go out on this beautiful bike, get a coffee, a cake, and look for some ponies on Dartmoor. So let's crack on. You see how long and straight this road is? I think this could be a good candidate for the whole massive gear on a track bike without actually having to drive to Wales. I think that is my Monday morning sorted. So hopefully it's nice and dry tomorrow and we can bring the track bike with a mahoosive 120 plus gear inches to this road. Guess is now what's the top speed gonna be? I don't think it's actually gonna be that fast. I reckon I'm gonna struggle to get on top of it. So if we say like 45, maybe 50 kilometers an hour, 50 miles now would be nice. There are these like side roads. So fingers crossed nobody pulls out. I mean, if they do, we'll aim for the ditch. It's lovely and sunny. I was all up for like riding up a massive hill. And now, well, the sun's gone. Well, this is a bit of a bugger. So I really wanted to ride up Haytor, and apparently the road is closed. I wonder if it's only closed to like cars or if it's closed like totally. Should we go and have a look? There's a lady standing in the middle of the road down there. We can go and ask her. She'll probably tell if it's shut or not. I chatted to the lady. She doesn't know if it's closed either. She wants to drive up here. Seems like I might get my very own private road. I'm going to enjoy a very calm, traffic-free climb up a tour. Why do I insist on having a milky coffee before doing a climb? Honestly, milk and climbing. Blech. Let's crack on, I guess. And the road being closed, it's closed for like 100 meters and they're doing nothing on there. So I get like a nice 100 meters to myself. My legs are filling it after yesterday's session, but we're gonna get to the top because then we get a fun descent. There's no Dartmoor ponies. It's all pregnant cows. I do love that climb. It's so busy today though. 
cars either pass you like super close, which honestly, I'm not too fast about, as long as they're not going crazy fast, or they'll sit behind you, like touching your rear wheel basically. I mean, they're trying to be nice and not overtake you when they can't see, etc. but sometimes I wish it just bloody drive around me. Oh, I don't mind a close pass, but I know a lot of cyclists out there are not a fan of it. Thank you to the drivers for being nice. Oh, I do love this bike. Still. Still does climb bloody well, you know. It's actually not crazy windy up here today. It's quite nice. Do you want to see a really nice view? Let me show you. Dartmoor is proper beautiful. And look, here we have Haytor, just to our left. Just up there. So there's only little. It's only about that big. Right, let's get this descent done and watch out for those sheep on the way down. Oh my god, you're going to have to slow down for a car. <laughs> I might have been going slightly over the speed limit then. So we're going to let this guy get a little bit ahead. And then we can continue onwards with the fun. Oh, this is one of my favourite descents. It's so good. So much fun. Let's go again. A little bit backed up with traffic was still a fun descent. Oh, I love bikes. I mean, I say that in every video, but I did take the opportunity there to practice my stoppies. I do love a stoppie. Do you know what? I can't wheelie. Always been rubbish at wheelies, but I can do stoppies. A bit stranger now. Anyway, back to the whole like, are oh, steel bikes better than carbon? I mean, honestly, if you're riding a bike, you're winning at life. Doesn't matter what it's made of, unless it's made of paper and then it might like dissolve in the rain. So ride anything you want apart from a paper bike. For someone that rides bikes as much as I do, I should be able to tell the difference, right? I mean, I wonder, I was about to say, I wonder if I did a blind test, but I'm not quite sure how you'd do a blind test. I mean, I'd have to be blindfolded and put on the bike, which would then probably mean that I was gonna crash, or I could ride without looking down. But the issue is, I know just from the feel of my handlebars which bike I'm riding. So my carbon bike, big aero tubing, wide seat posts, really deep wheels. It's so comfortable. It really is. You'd think this one would be the more comfy one. So I think the reason that I find these bikes so comfortable is because the bike I spent a long time riding was a specialised LA Sprint Disc, which is basically riding a solid piece of aluminium. <laughs> It's a really stiff aluminium frame, massive carbon seat post. The thing is, a crit specific frame. You know, not designed for long rides. But, surprisingly, I didn't find it that bad on long rides. I mean, no, it's not the most comfortable, but with a wider rim, a wider tyre, that takes a lot of the vibrations out. But still, there's no denying the stiffness of that frame. And that was much stiffer than this. And it was much stiffer than my Yolio. Should I do a video comparing my LA disc to my Yolio to my steel frame? It's like an aluminium versus steel versus carbon kind of video. Which one I'd prefer? A little bit of a spoiler for you guys. It's not going to be the aluminium. Whilst I love that frame and I think they're indestructible, I much prefer my steel and carbon. Right. Anyway, we're going to continue onwards because the sun's gone in and I'm getting nippy. Oh, did I tell you that I bloody love bikes today? Bloody love them! Let me know what you like your bike to be made out of. Paper, sponge, or fruit pastels. Thank you as always for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.